So with 15 on the shot clock, the Eagles have it. Lob pass over to the left side, right to Glasker. Glasker nearly stepped out of bounds. Nine on the shot clock. Chasten across the floor to Davis. Six on the shot clock. Big shot by Vincent Davis. Knocks it down. Vincent Davis, great job. They swung it around. He was wide open, took a quick shot, and was able to drill it. 61-59, two minutes to go. That was a huge shot for Vince. DJ Taylor will have to step it up big here. This is his opportunity here at North Carolina Central. We'll see if he can handle it here in the last minute. Oh, it is a big weight on his shoulders right now. Well, he got a five-second violation called on Blackman the last time these two teams met up. And he takes it away from Blackman. Beautiful play by Taylor. He'll take it to the basket. Puts up the lap. Good! What a play by P.J. And I guess P.J. was ready. And now I'll throw it down the floor of the outlet. Blackman over the head of Hardy. And listen to this place as the Eagles will have it with 53 seconds to go. And they're up by four. That is how you take advantage of opportunity right there. Coming on the floor fearless, you get a steal, and then you take it to the basket all the way for the putback. They'll have possession, baseline right, 26 on the shot clock. P.J. Taylor stepped in big time in that last situation. We'll see if he does it here. He gets the inbounds pass in the far right corner, and he'll be at the line to shoot one and one. Taylor, five of eight this season from the line. And he's had his opportunity today. He's really had his, his time to shine. <laughs> well, he is uh, getting all of the spotlight, so to speak. He's on the line right here. Could ice the game for the Eagles if he knocks down these two. Now P.J., the junior from High Point, banks in the first one. <laughs> and I thought I heard him call that bank from over here. I'm not too sure. But he definitely knocked it down on the first one. Let's see if he can get the second. Clutch by P.J., and he can make it a five-point ball game right here. Second one. Good. P.J. <laughs> with four points here in the last two minutes to give the Eagles a five-point lead. 23 seconds left. Now with 9.4 seconds left, the Eagles can stop a three-game winning streak by Savannah State in nine seconds. Nice job by Worthy on that backdoor pass. Lewis in to Blackman. Seven seconds to go. Blackman from the top of the key. No good. Rebounded by Chasen. Chasen lobs it up the floor to Worthy. Two, one, and he's going to be stripped on his way to the basket, but that doesn't matter. Mark it on your calendar. February 6th, 2010. Head coach Lavelle Moten records his first Division I win here at North Carolina Central, and it certainly will not be the last. Final score here this Saturday afternoon affair, 65-60. North Carolina Central wins it 5-20 on the year. Savannah State falls to 9-14. Stay tuned for the Eagles postgame report brought to you by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Eagles are victorious here in the contest, 65-60. You heard it live right here on the NCCU Sports Network. Welcome back to the Eagles Post Game Report brought to you by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Joining us here courtside, tonight's player of the game made the significant play at the most significant time. That's P.J. Taylor, the junior from High Point, North Carolina. Had a huge steal and layup with 59 seconds to go of Preston Blackman to get the Eagles up by four at 63-59. P.J., first of all, you see Nuke fall on the floor with the ankle injury, diving in off the floor after the turnover. And, you know, the, the, you see him down on the floor in a heap and in pain. You see Coach Moten talk to you and say, hey, it's your turn to go in. What's going through your head, first of all? I mean, it's going through my head that Coach has been telling us to be ready the whole time, and we've been working hard in practice. And he told us we was going to be in them same situations. So when he called on me, he's called on me before down the stretch to play defense, so I knew I had to come in and make a play. And I, pretty risky play going after the steal, but if you remember the contest back against Savannah State a couple weeks ago, you caused the five-second violation on Preston. So I guess you had the upper hand on him from the get-go, right? Yeah, I did. Every time I come in, I know he wants me to play and pressure the ball, so I came in to pressure the ball, and I happened to jab at him, and I hit the ball. So when I got it, I just took it and made the layup. I'll tell you what, that was a great play, and it certainly uh, was one that um, – put the Eagles on top by four. When you, when you hit that layup and knew that we were up by four, what was your next mindset? I knew we had to make another stop because it was still like what, 20 seconds or 11 seconds left, so we still had to play defense and make another stop because easily they could have made two baskets quick. Now, you had you had to sit out the first semester. Your first game was against High Point. This for you has to be a huge moment considering you, you, you've been you know trying to search and get caught up with the team after joining the team midway through the season. So I know this feels pretty good for you today, right? It does. It feels like um, 
that I've been waiting for this opportunity. And if he keeps giving me opportunities, I got to keep stepping up and making plays. Well, great job today in your performance, especially down the stretch. I know uh, you'll be happy with that, and we'll have to talk to you about that later on. Great job. All right, thanks. That was P.J. Taylor, Jr. from High Point, North Carolina, as we sign things off here from a victorious McDougal McClendon gym.